Okay, we need to get the exclude and complete frames test going on, but I saw a few things I want to talk about before that. One, let's verify that these tests work. They should work now since uh, uh, we have, s where's the plus sum? We got this one going, right? So the array boundaries, hopefully, hopefully those will work. And then go around several times, that should work too. Uh, I also wanted to point out something I noticed. When I came up here and I made the file stream static out here. Static means it's private to the compilation unit and I mentioned that in the previous video but also something to think about is since I have defined this OF stream out here in the compilation unit it is also static as far as static goes with with classes all right? and it's every profile or instance will share this one out stream so that could become an issue with threading for sure it's not thread safe and maybe you instantiate a profiler I instantiate a profiler and we're using separate profilers and all of a sudden they're kind of riding all over each other if we tell them to do the same thing at the same time so something to consider but also I'm not too stressed about it because very soon we are going to turn our profiler class into a singleton using the singleton design pattern because uh, just like with uh, many debug facilities we'll add to our project I only want there to be one instance of the object a global instance that you can use anywhere in the game it's simply a debugging tool but in the meantime let's make sure these tests run I'm hoping again let me just build this run this and you can see that only excluding incomplete frames is failing uh, yes to that let me Bring this in, control KU, 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 control F5, cross my fingers, say a prayer if you're religious. Um, yep, okay, so these tests, yes, these tests were successful as well. In fact, I can array boundaries, control F5 again, we can find array boundaries in the group of profile tests. Uh, where's array boundaries right here? Took four milliseconds, so on and so forth. Uh, let's go around several times, okay? 3.141592, blah, 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 times. This is not pi, but it is very close to pi. Um, I digress somewhere out here. What, wait a minute, what was it? What's this? What's oh, yeah, this is a double, this is an int. When you multiply an int to a double, it returns a double, and that needs to be converted to an unsigned int. So let's do that with a static cast const unsigned int num frames this test gets static cast you are so ugly unsigned int and I hope you remember the right reasons using a static cast uh, I could use other cast syntax something like this or I could use a function style cast which looks a lot like this but I'm using static cast to say hey this is a compile time conversion compiler Please convert it, go and do. And then I'll pass that in right here. Control Shift B, build started, build succeeded, Control F5, verify that we still only have one test failed and it's the test that we have not worked on yet. Now I want to, I, I, if we look at profiles.csv, yeah, that's interesting, but let's, let's really kind of push this thing. And I, I'm going to guess we'll start out with roughly a thousand frames. We can tweak that all we want now that we have the unit tests in place. Uh, control F5, build, run, and everything passes. That's weird. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, bigger numbers now. Big money, big money. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the exclude exclude incomplete frames to it fails if I'm at five. Oh Nelly. But it doesn't fail when I'm at a thousand. <laughs> Whatever. Um well I'm gonna go back to five then. I want it to fail and I wanna get this condition to f I wanna get this condition to succeed. I'm curious why it doesn't fail at a thousand though. I wonder if I do, let's just try 10. Maybe 10, let's see if that fails. See my debugging skills? Ah, there we go. So it passes at 10. Right? What, and 10 is going to be a lot easier for me to debug than 1,000. And now I can get in there and verify what's the problem, figure it out, and feel good that I solved this issue and I understand what's going on. You know, I could have just said, you know, forget it. I'm going to put a 5 here. And once this test passes with 5, then I'll feel good. But 
that's not a good attitude. I need to really understand, you know, at 10, what, what's the difference at 10? So I'm actually kind of glad we caught that. We'll go through that. And then I'm also also curious, if I say 1,000, I just want to see the data for once, OK? I'm going to put a break point. I just want to mess around a little bit. I'm going to circulating 1 plus 7, go around several times. I'm going to set this to a 2 instead of what we had before, just because I want to see the file, the resulting file that we'll get if we say go around 1,000 times 2. So go around 2,000 times. So do the numbers at the end make sense? Well, what are, what's the numbers that we should see at the end? Well, if you go around 2,000 times and there's three categories, then you know, it'd be interesting to tweak our test to do random number of categories too. But anyway, uh, there should be up to 6,000 should be our last one. So let's uh, put a breakpoint here. I just want to visually see it just so I can feel good about it. Build started, build succeeded. Of course, I hit Control F5 instead of F5. There we go. So we stopped at this breakpoint. CSV, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, okay. 3,008, that's not what I'm expecting. Oh, because I haven't ran it. <laughs> All right, F, F10. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, now this is lots bigger. Very good. Starts at 3,000. Okay, that's good. That's halfway through our sample set of 6,000, and it rolls all the way up to 5,999. Ah, I'm feeling good about that. Okay, I can get rid of this breakpoint. Shift F5. And now let's go back to that issue of, of 10. You know, I'm wondering, does it work at 8? Let's try 8. See how I'm doing a kind of a binary search? I know it broke at 5. I know it works at 10. Does it break at 8? All right. And maybe it's odd numbers it's breaking on. 8, 9. Let's see if it breaks at 9. There's two theories here. Either the number's too small or, let's see, let's try 7. We can try 7 or 6. The number's too small. That or uh, it's odd versus even numbers. So does it really only break at 5? We'll try six. Oh, interesting. Wow. So I'm glad I actually took that time because debugging six frames will be a lot easier than debugging five or ten frames. And I, it'll be a lot easier than debugging a thousand frames. So that's interesting. Let's put it at six. And uh, in the next video, in the next video, we'll look at uh, figuring out why this is behaving the way it is behaving.